A lot of the residents up here uh, in the Ogden area say that they were caught off guard because the National Weather Service never issued a tornado warning. Well, to answer that question, maybe as to why, we sent Keith McCord to talk to the National Weather Service to find out. Keith, what do you know? Mike, the short answer is that there wasn't quite enough data to make that call. However, it was very close. The main message that we wanted to get out at the time that there, it was that there's damaging winds occurring with this system. Those severe thunderstorm warnings were indeed issued, winds gusting between 60 and 80 miles per hour. Monica Traphagen at the Salt Lake Weather Service office showed us the radar picture. Several storm cells had merged, cold and moist, perfect for a violent event. On the velocity, which In this radar scan, she pointed out a hooked shape image indicating circular winds, a signature of sorts for a tornado. It appeared only briefly. In Utah, when you see that signature, the vast majority of the time you'll see a rotation on radar or something. That's not going to, you know, uh, amount to a tornado because we get them so rarely here. The next scan, no hook, and so the tornado warning was never issued. It's a decision that's not an easy call. A vast concern uh, for crying wolf. If you if you issue a, a tornado warning and and there's not one, then the response is not positive, and then and then. The next time there is one, people may not pay attention. Utah averages about two tornadoes a year, certainly not top of mind for most of us. We understand that there could be a sense of complacency about tornadoes because the last one that hit a major populated area was in 1999. But with three twisters within the last month, the Utah Division of Emergency Management wants all of us to check out the Tornado Preparedness Information site at BeReadyUtah.com. And if you see a tornado, get indoors for sure. And if you're outside, look for something sturdy to get behind, or a picnic table, get underneath because of the flying debris underneath. But like earthquake preps, tornado preps, very similar, have that 72-hour kit ready so you can grab it and go if you need to. Have extra food, that kind of thing. Mike, back to you. Yeah, Keith, here in Utah, we talk a lot about earthquakes. Not often do we talk about tornadoes. So That's uh, right. great update and angle to this story. Thank you.